what is crack like guys welcome back to another episode of martial outdoors martial outdoors without further ado yeah that's me that's me Marshall. yeah we have got a lot to do today let me tell you and um, you might be thinking, well, why the hell are you trying to make a video if you got lots to do today? Well, I got about five bids to go do for the painting business, which means I will be driving all over the damn country from one side of the town to the other. Well, more like one side of six towns to the other side of six towns. You know what I mean? One of those deals. So... A lot of driving ahead of us today, a lot of stopping. We're gonna probably stop and eat lunch somewhere. That sounds awesome right about now. But um, yeah, we just went and knocked our first stop out, dropped off a bunch of paint samples to the homeowner, swung by the old local crack to see if there was any carp running. There was some carp running, let me tell you. Not a lot though. It's um, a pretty big spot. And it needs to be uh, like really, really loaded up for me to want to go in there and start whacking on some carp. But um, it was not. So, I'm on my way to the next job to look at. But I figured why not stop at a little creek that we got to drive right past anyway. And see if there's any carp running here. There might be. There might not be. I threw the bow in the back, the barrel in the way back. We're ready to fill that sucker. But with that being said, if there's no carp running today, I have to drive by a bunch of juicy spots to fish off the bank too. So we might do a little bass fishing off the bank. We might do a little crappie fishing off the bank. I don't know, I threw a couple rods in, a couple things to tackle. We are gonna make it happen either way today. If I have to drive my ass all around town for jobs, we're gonna make it worth it. Hit a bunch of spots, make it a long day, catch some fish, shoot some fish. I have no idea, but we're just pulling up to spot one. You guys, stay freaking tuned. All right, it's been a couple hours. Just popped up to the second spot. Um, I did grab a crappie rod. I did not have any minnows or anything in my truck. Did have a Euro tackle crazy critter and uh, a spring bobber. So figured what the hell. This place is, um, wow. Local killing holes, you know. Fished here since I was a kid. And this is the first year that it looks outrageously different. They have cut all the trees down. Oh, there's a bunch of tiny bass and bluegills right there. Well, let's, uh, let's see what we can do, I guess. I mean, there's a bunch of fish around looks like so let's just see if we can find something I guess a bunch of bass and bluegills which is a good sign I guess I don't know like I said I haven't been here for a long time this is a spot I used to fish as a when I was a kid and we're just cruising around today seeing what we can catch and what we can't catch and um Wow, they changed this place up. Let's see what this guy does. Looks like he's gonna drive his boat right in here. So that's pretty cool. Sick. Glad I just showed up here. That was dumb. Apparently picked the best time to get out. There we go. Got one. There we go. Slab too. Black is night, nice, boys. I mean, whew. we'll go grab a bucket here in a minute, but. I am so pumped that this guy just came in here. Wow, that's dumb. Look at that, though. That's some din din. Let's not, uh... Yeah, let's... 
not drive all over him. It's pretty dumb. There we go. Bucket number two. Let's go grab the bucket. Let's just say the old boat coming in. Not a good idea. Just came in and crashed my party instantly. Two big slabs. On the arrow tackle, but. Let's go. Yes. Let's go. Another one for the bucket. Not as big, but take it. We will take it. Not complaining. A couple more. Just need a couple. Oh. Yes, dude. I'm talking choked it. I um, had the camera on, but I fat fingered it because I didn't think I had the camera on. Totally effed that one up. But, uh, dude, that's a stud. Black as night, boy. I literally cast it out. Wasn't even paying attention. Looked back and I was like, where the, where the heck is my bobber? It was out there, but it was down. And, um, there you have it. Those are tuxedos are on. Males, which are good. Rather catch nice males, nice eater males than, uh, than anything, you know? But, uh, yeah. Oh my gosh. Whoa, but right at the freaking shoreline. A little walk down. Another one. Dude, they are steaming hot. I don't know how warm that water is, but it's obviously warm. Because that fish was hot. Figured I'd walk down here and do some bass fishing, but it is hard to bass fish this. So I'm stuck in the trees. I think we're gonna end today here. I don't think we're gonna end the video here. I have to uh, do some more running around. Whoa, just got slammed. I gotta do some more running around tomorrow. So, oh, I've seen enough of this today. I'm gonna bring my water boots back tomorrow, maybe. So we can, uh, Really get after some stuff. <laughs> Not the greatest. Got four slab crappies in the bucket though, so that's gonna be dinner. Perfect amount for dinner. Not a good enough day for me to make it into a video. I know we probably caught enough fish, but just just a lot of dicking around. Nothing good. I'm gonna go find some slabs. We are freaking back at it. It is a little bit earlier in the day. Figured I'd run up here before I got too busy at work. Just trying to beat the crowds, you know. I'm sure some people hit it before me yesterday. So, yeah, we're just gonna jump right back into where we were yesterday. Today I did bring some uh, better plastics. The Euro Grub, this is about as good as it gets for a, a plastic on a spring bobber, in my opinion. Yesterday I just pretty much had a couple packs of plastics that were underneath my seat. And um, we made it work, for the most part. We caught a couple fish. But um, I think this is going to work a lot freaking better. So, a little rain last night. <laughs> I don't know if that helps or hurts, but I might put some boots on. Uh, I was going to put some boots on, but we already took off from the truck, so 
I guess we're not putting boots on. I don't want to get my work shoes all wet, but I guess we'll just uh, deal with that when we can, you know what I mean? Get that braided line all wet and um, see if there's some crappies around. See if anybody is uh, not caught them all already. Holy man, the same cars over there. Same cars over there, same boats in here. Like, apparently people are catching. Are we catching them or are we catching them? It did bring some, it did bring some live bait. So, if we have to go that route, we will. That's gotta be, oh yeah, that's crap. That's a crappy. Here we go, first one of the day. Perfect little eater. Perfect little eater. Gosh, I really hope I don't have to hold them minners. I just want to catch them on the plastic. Just gonna get it out there. That one was about as far as I could cast. Oh, gotcha. Oh, blackie, dude. God, they got their tuxedos on. Just choked. Look at all black. Wow. They're all males. Which is good, I guess. I just uh, missed one right before this guy. <coughs> and got him. <laughs> Let's go. Megan number two. <laughs> Need to go get the bucket. I put a minnow on. I didn't want to, but oh, yeah. first cast with the minnow. We've got one. Oh no. Oh no, I set my rod down for a second. Damn it. Oh, that's a little guy. Oh, that's a little guy. That's a little guy. Not black though. Must be a fresh one. Gonna have to send him home, unfortunately. Just gonna have to send him home. That's crappy. There we go. There we go. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I put a giant middle on that thing. Giant, no. Don't know if that middle's gonna go another round, but we're gonna surely try. We'll take that one. Gosh, I wish I had all big middles. Should have got fat heads instead of crappy middles. Uh, bluegills are just a little too insane in here. Just black as night. Got the tuxedo on, baby. God, these are perfect eaters. Perfect eaters, and even better, they're all males. So that makes me more happy about keeping them. I don't mind keeping some females, but I mean, if you're just getting good eater males, it's even better. For the population. Oh, who am I kidding? I don't care about the population in here. I'm sure every freaking copy that comes into this bay or this creek probably eventually gets caught. But I'll try and do my part. Hold. Go over. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Pound it. Let's do it. Straight down, classic crappy bite. Classic crappy bite. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's 
monsters say the harvest is on. The harvest is on, boys. Slappy blacky. Gosh, those are so cool looking. It's getting hot out, so we might need to uh, go get some ice for these guys. Yeah! Seems like the only place I can catch them is right there, dude. I don't know why. If I can get them. Gotcha. Another black one. Another black one. Make it seven. it up there i think i got like seven crappies or something lost a few caught a few other small ones but um yeah what do you do fun to get back to the roots let me tell you i haven't been to this creek in 10 15 years i don't remember it's been so long but um just goes to show you do not need a boat or whatever a big boat little boat whatever to get out and um, do some crappie fishing trust me i got a boat sitting at home Hey, let's go hop some cricks. I love fishing tiny cricks in the spring. Everything comes in shallow, bass, crappies, bluegills. They're all up in there getting ready to do their duty. Looks like there's just a bunch of small males in this creek, but we got enough for a meal. Dinner secured, as you could say. And um, I think we're going backwards in this. I think we're on a one way lane here probably not ideal we'll figure that out in a minute but um little bass fishing yesterday little crappie fishing today well i got a few crappies i'll probably drop in the video yesterday and before everybody gets all antsy in their pants trust me i ate them things last night so it's not like i have more fish sitting in my freezer ate those four last night got seven more probably gonna eat them tonight if not tomorrow night for sure but um yeah like i said fun to get back to the roots Cast some bobbers around, watch the old cork sink. It's been a long time, so. Make sure you guys get a rod. All you need is a bobber, a couple of hooks, some minners. Get out there to the local cricks, the little spillways. The crappies are about to spawn. Get out there and smack you some dinner around. That's all I gotta say. I call this stop the grocery store stop. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of Marshall Outdoors. As always, I don't know where I'll be next. Hopefully shooting some carp. I'm going to go look for some carp right now. Maybe out in the boat catching walleyes. Maybe. I, I have no idea. We'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>